What's going on guys? Welcome to another revival video. So, um, here at the event. The event is ending soon. It is going to be ending Monday. Which, what day is that? That is the... 4th. So, uh, if you're watching this video when it first comes out, and you haven't finished everything up on the, uh, from the event, make sure you do so. I'm here right now, I'm gonna try to snipe out the pet. I've done maybe about 75k, 80k. Uh, and haven't gotten it, which is not too crazy because I know other people have have higher. But the pet's only one in a, a thousand, uh, one in a hundred, not a thousand. So I'm gonna try to clutch that out. I don't really care too much about the shield. The shield is good. I might still go for it. I'm just not a hundred percent yet. And you might be noticing a certain spoiler right now. But uh, yeah, the video will come out tomorrow. The pugs just want to have fun. Next episode will be out tomorrow. So if I get the pet, it'll be in that. Um, and then. Uh, and, and, and then this will be obviously explained. But the main reason for this video is I'm going to talk about a few things and you're, you can already tell from the title. I don't know why I always say that in my video. It's kind of like I'm breaking the fourth wall, even though this isn't really like a... <laughs> I mean, this is more of a commentary than anything, so... Yeah, so there is going to be a uh, double experience. And the double experience, uh, this is our first one. The server was released in um, either late May or early June. I can't remember exactly, but... In the entire time it's been up, we have not had any double experiences. So this is going to be the first one. It's going to start on the 8th, of, which is a Friday, and then it'll end on the 11th, which is a Monday. So, yeah, it will just be flat 2. Should be pretty interesting. I'll probably uh, talk about... I mean, there's really no... I mean, you guys know what it is. The thing with double experience, I feel like a lot of servers kind of abuse it to sort of gain, you know, attention and whatnot. Double experience is one of those things that's always been, you know super cool and super hyped up and whatnot. Everybody's always loved uh, double experience events on the actual RuneScape and whatnot. And servers kind of just abuse it. They spam it out constantly to try to snag your attention. And my thought process for it um, is if it's constantly happening, it's not really special. Sorry about that. I didn't want to spoil anything in the bank. But yeah, if, it's, if you're constantly having double experience weekends, it's not really fun anymore. One of the things I noticed about Ikov, Ikov constantly did this. They would have double experience weekends pretty much every weekend. Uh, they would, they wouldn't even have. I mean, really, it was on. It was turned on like a majority of the time. And uh, what I noticed is I didn't even like to train when it wasn't on. Uh, I would find myself doing more PVM when it's not on, and then I would, I, if I would wait for it to come on, and it just wasn't really special or anything. No one was really hyped. It was just like, oh yeah, okay, you know, there was no. There's nothing interesting about it. So I think uh, the servers that don't do it so often are, are definitely a lot better. I think that, that it's it's got it's more special, you know, it's gonna mean it's gonna mean a lot more if you only have it every once in a while. So and I think that's the way it should be. I mean obviously on RuneScape it's I think it's once every three months, which originally I think it was like once a year or once every six months, so I definitely think it should be special. In terms of when the next one will be after this one, I don't know. It's it was really just kind of like the server's been getting up there in player counts. Um, we've been 25, 35, sort of floating around there. And um, just wanted to say thank you. And uh, it made sense to that the first one will be coming soon. I also wanted to do it before Invention, because I want to make sure everybody trains Invention super slow. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to make Invention like the hardest skill in terms of uh, how quickly you can train it. Just because I, I want to add a lot of things, and I think it'll be a lot better if you're actually doing the things rather than doing one specific, you know, boring thing to, to level up so quickly, so. Yeah, market calendars, it'll be there. It'll start on Friday whenever I log in, so if you're familiar with uh, Pacific Time, it'll be around um, 1 to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard, and that's the same about the same time it'll end. Um, the next thing is there's going to be a new poll. Also, I've talked about that now. Uh, so, for starters, you can win something, so if you go to the poll... The first question is put in your username for a chance to win $25 bond or $25. I should, probably shouldn't show this with like the editing mode because this crap keeps coming up. But um, yeah, you can win $25 PayPal. We're actually going to give away actual money. Uh, so you can pick if you don't have PayPal or if you prefer just having the bond. That's your choice. And then if you wanted some extra money to go buy... Um, I don't know why the first thing I thought of was tampons because like there's no one on the server that's biked. I don't know why that was my first thought. I, I, I have no clue. I, I just woke up. I'm blaming it on that. We, you know, you have those weird dreams that just make no sense. 
and you don't even remember them. I don't know if I had any dreams about tampons, but now I'm starting to feel like I did subconsciously. Either way, you can buy a burger. Buy yourself a burger, buy yourself whatever you want. Um, so those are the two options. Uh, so I don't want to give you my opinions on this poll because one of the things I did in the last video was I basically just told you what I was voting for. And I feel like that might influence the polls. I think some people, if they were on the fence, they might just agree with me. If you want to skip a question, you can. Just don't, just don't answer it. Uh, so this one is which skill do you want to see improve the most? You have a couple options there. Probably should have put in the other option. You know, I can still edit that. Let me do that. So yeah, now you have the other option if you want a different skill. Um, so the next one we have, should we, the completionist cape, be a cape? Uh, the reason this comes up is the fact that uh, Inferno is happening soon. That's going to be in the next update. This update that is happening on Monday uh, is going to be the last raid boss, the one that drops Twisted Bow. And then after that, the next big project will be the Inferno. And the Inferno is... It's, I mean, the whole design for it was that it was going to be like the highest, the hardest thing there is in the game. That was what old school wanted. They wanted this super hard accomplishment that, like, you know, very few people could do. And obviously, it wasn't even beat for like the first two or three days. So, I want to kind of recreate that. Obviously, ours will probably be easier because it's a private server, but it will be kind of difficult, and it will probably be time consuming. Um, I, obviously, I haven't coded any of it yet, but the original idea would probably make it last anywhere from like an hour to an hour and a half. Um, could depend on a lot of things, obviously. So, I'm still working on that, but I do want it to be a challenge. So, if anybody has the Inferno Cape, it's good and it's worth using. Uh, I'm going to make it so that it's it's not, the even like the Max Cape will have uh, the same stats and whatnot. And um, it just sort of got me thinking, should the Completionist Cape be harder? Um, the Completionist Cape obviously could require it, and then that way it all works out. But the thing I was thinking about is like... The Inferno Cape looks cool, and then if you have this cape, which, again, there is no actual completionist cape from old school, so we're doing it custom, and uh, the current ideas we sort of had in the, la in the last poll, uh, none of them I'm really in love with, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to do whichever one I liked the most, and I kind of don't like any of them. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't mind them. It's not like I'm, I'm disliking them. I'll happily go with, you know, whatever people want. It's just I'm not, like, super sold on them. I think, personally, I'd rather wear the Inferno cape. So then the question is, should I make the Completionist cape better? Or make it, just make it not, not, not better than the Inferno, but better than Max? And then make it not require Inferno? But then again, people would just use the Inferno if the Inferno was Max. So it's one of those things where it's like, there's too many capes in game. Should we make it something different? Um... I'm, I'm sort of working on and adding more signets, signets and blessings. Blessings, obviously, are the things that go in your arrow slot and they have a nice little bonus. I think that's a very, um, it's a not used spot. The only downside to that would be there's, you don't see, you know, there's no, like, you know, there's no way to identify that that person's completed it. Could do something like a hat, a helmet, um, boots, glove. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And then if you just want to keep it, completionist cape. By all means, that's that's cool too. I'm just wondering. I'm just trying to think. With the Inferno, it might be a uh, it might be weird. Uh, so next one is: Should we make totem pieces and bludgeon pieces tradable? It's pretty straightforward. Should we make catacombs multi? They're multi in RuneScape. They're not on here. People have wondered if uh, if that should be the case. So the next one is kind of a uh, it's kind of up there. Should we remove the Iron Man combat restriction? So basically, right now, if I was an Iron Man and this was multi, so I'm ki killing this Joker and then uh, somebody over there, I can't see who it is, though. Let's just say Fragger. Fragger comes up here, smacks his Joker. I wouldn't get the loot. It's that way in RuneScape. RuneScape is exactly like that. If uh, an Iron Man gets, quote-unquote, help, the won't get the drop. And actually, on, on RuneScape now, if an Iron Man, if, like, a non-Iron Man, like, tanks it, or if anybody tanks it for you, like, let's say I'm doing a boss and the boss hits that person, you don't get the loot anymore. Um, and I don't really like those restrictions. I think they're kind of dumb. I, I understand why they're there, because obviously people cheat. People did cheat with the tanking thing. That's why they had to make it different. It's just, I don't think that's a big deal on here. It's a private server. You're going to gain levels quickly. Getting to 99s is not really an issue. And uh, for the most part, I don't, I, I, I trust everyone. I don't think, I, I don't really see any benefit to it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, there's no real benefit to getting help. It's not like there's going to be like some sort of, you know, like if, if you, I just don't think it's that big of a deal on a private server. I guess I'm giving you my opinion. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you want to keep it more towards old school, or if you want to just remove it, 
Um, this will make the game a lot better, because I think right now, uh, recently, there's sort of been a problem with trashing. Um, I don't know at least a couple people have complained about it, where people have, uh, I don't know if it's on purpose or if it's on accident, just because they're not paying attention, but people have been uh, crashing Iron Man. So th that's why the new rooms were added in the last update, if you didn't see that. Those tokens I had in my inventory earlier, they allow you to go to the other rooms, and that, that helps, but... Again, stuff like the stuff like the final raid boss, Iron Man are not gonna be able to do it. They're only gonna be able to do it solo, and when no one else is on. And this one drops the uh, twisted bow, so obviously this is gonna be the more active one. Um, so it's just one of those things where it should just allow Iron Man to boss better. And it's one of those things that most servers don't have. Most prior servers that have Iron Man don't have that. It's kind of like a Vincillo thing that they've coded. And and again, it's all, all credits go to them. It's it's really good coding. Um, the fact that the server has it, and as far as I know, it's pretty good. I know of a few weird areas, but all in all, it's pretty good. I just, uh, I just don't know if it necessarily fits a private server. But if you have any opinions on that, vote. Uh, next one, which videos do you want to see? Just what, what, what is your main thing? What is the main thing you want to see? That's all I'm wondering. I, I would probably end up doing a nice mix of all of these, which, which is what I, what I have here as an option. It's just I want to know what you, what you prefer. What, what should be the focus? Like if you really like the pugs, just want to have fun series, I'll start working on that more. Uh, if you want to see something new, I have a couple ideas for new series, and then of course if you have any ideas, you can post as well. So. So next one, would you say the server as a whole is too easy or too hard? Vote on that. And then 1 to 10, based on how enjoyable the server is for you. How, how much fun you have on it and whatnot. Just kind of an overall grade on the server. And then if you have anything that you want added. If you had any, like, dream item. Just anything. Anything, you know, you can comment below here. Uh, so the last thing I want to talk about is the new forums. Uh, we're switching over officially now. So I'm going to link these in the description below. And then the old forums will bring you here. So... Uh, still working on it, as you can see, it's kind of uh, sloppy and everything. We're still fixing things up, still getting the theme working and whatnot, but we are going to officially move over, so uh, you can join there. But uh, yeah, that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out soon. Updates on Monday should be the raid boss, assuming I have no hiccups. And then um, should have a pug. Just want to have a fun episode out tomorrow.